Ladies and gentlemen, truth seekers, we need to be very careful of what we're hearing. Social media has a lot of tricks up its sleeve and false teaching is abundant. Listen to this. They ain't gonna tell you this in church no more because they think you're supposed to resist the devil. Everybody else trying to teach you that there are two powers. There's only one. Okay, so real quick, there is something fundamentally flawed with this man's doctrine. James 4, 7 even says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Satan does have power. He is the ruler of this world. Therefore, he is the ruler of the kingdom of darkness. He must have power. There are two forces, the force of good, the force of God, the force that protects, the force that preserves, the force that gives life. And then there's the power of Satan, the force of darkness, the force that brings death and encourages and urges sin. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness. Be non-resistant. You have to resist the devil. That's why you get me a black kid. You believe the devil has something to do with you. You ain't got no weapons to fight against the devil. He's so above you. What you gonna show up with your nine millimeter? Second Corinthians 10 verse 4 says that our weapons of warfare are not carnal or fleshly, but powerful through God to the pulling down of strongholds. This is essentially what the Bible teaches. We can't go against that. Now, I'm not sure who he is, and I'm going to be charitable because I believe in the context of what he's saying is when you have some mental health issues and different things of that nature that is not always caused by the devil, that these are sometimes psychological things that we need God to fix. That's absolutely true. Now, that part I do agree with, but you still cannot use that and go against what the word of God says, because Ephesians 6 verse 10 through 12 literally tells us, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. The scripture says, you have heard that it's been said. Jesus is correcting the idiocracies of the teaching. You have heard that it's been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Do not resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on the right cheek, give him the other three cheeks. Go and slap them all. You're not going to offend me. I'm not going to fight you. If I resist the devil, I'm telling God he's not enough. If I resist the devil, I'm telling God he's not enough. So how can you say that we aren't supposed to resist the devil? The Bible clearly teaches that. He didn't get that out of his Bible. He didn't get that from these scriptures. That's that wisdom of man. We don't need that. Give me the word of God. No thanks. Mark in a void.